what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to two car guys podcast i'm john this is adam other way <laughs> <laughs> and uh here we are we're here to talk about formula one las vegas baby yes yes so uh for those of you who follow the channel it's been a while uh we i think we we missed a week right uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah so we missed a week we got we got some back. technical difficulties people yeah <laughs> we're we happy to through. be back yeah we're happy to be back man um but i mean what a week man what a week oh, wow. uh so where do you want to start you want to start with like the timing of the f1 uh race do you want to start with uh, just Vegas in general. Where where do we want to start this week? Well, let's start with the sad part that I again could not make the trip, unfortunately. All um, right. So but... <laughs> so for those of you listening, John yeah. John did not make the trip. Didn't I still went, and ah. I had an absolute incredible epic time. And John has got serious FOMO. So Guys, look look, uh, FOMO doesn't even begin <laughs> to explain. <laughs> It's not jealousy. I don't like jealousy. Jealousy is not a good word. It's, I guess it's FOMO extra, extra large. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so Adam had a, had a great time. I've been here uh, working on stuff, my own cars, getting the house ready. We got Christmas and all that yep. stuff coming, man. So, you know, just doing, doing that stuff, which is not fun car stuff. But I did do some fun car stuff, but not nearly on the level of this. Yeah. So, I mean, in between our last episode and this one, I picked up a new car. Yeah. I planned the trip. I planned that. Well, I put a, picked up a new truck. I planned the yes. trip to Vegas. So, oh, crap. I sold the Z. In, yeah, in you sold the Z. Frame. I mean, it's, it's, it's been gone. crazy. It's, it's been, been a crazy. lot. We've done a lot. We just haven't videoed a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, oh, we I put some good shorts out and stuff. We have, so, we have tons yeah. of shorts. So, if you yeah. guys are following us, we appreciate it. Uh, I know Absolutely. we've got a, we've got a bunch of new. Uh, subscribers so yes. we hit 300 when we, when i was in mexico that was incredible yes and, and then, bam we're on our way so to 400 much. we are so close to 400 so thank you guys hey we appreciate it welcome to the channel i hope you enjoy this content we enjoy making it for you so and and i hope welcome. you guys see that if you leave a comment we're in there responding to it yes. uh even even if it's funny and silly we live it we you know we try to respond to it <laughs> have, have but all the um so I went out there on Thursday, right? Yes. And I got to Vegas and basically dropped everything off at the hotel, ran around, got something to eat. And right. then, you know, you just don't think about like, I, I originally didn't get a ticket for Thursday. Right. Because I was getting in at like three o'clock in the afternoon. Right. Got it. Nothing started till like eight o'clock at night. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was crazy. So I had yeah. to have somewhere to be. Right? right. Um, and I ended up going to the, um, to the Paris hospitality suite. Okay. But I'll tell you the, the setup for Vegas, the, the, the racetrack, the lights, everything about it was so cool. And the thing about Vegas that none of the other races I've been to. So I've been to three races this year. How crazy is that? Right. Three of them, man. <laughs> uh, four in total. Um, and the one thing that, um, that I, you didn't get in any other race is when the cars go through the streets, you get this reverberation from the sound from all the hotels. It's just, and echoing. it's just, it's, it's a whole other dynamic wow. and it's the coolest thing I've ever experienced ever. <laughs> So out of all um, your races, which one's your favorite? Vegas. And and tell them the ones you've been to. And if this is your first time tuning in, he's been to, he went to Miami so I this year. Off, well, I started off going to Monaco. That was the right. first race I ever went to, right? That's right. way to start, way to start out the F1, you know. That's kicking it off. Uh, ah, yeah, so sorry. I went to Monaco. It was my first time. Uh, no, sorry, not Monaco. Monza. 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 Yes. I went to Monza. So it was my first time in Italy. It was my first time in F1. And it was unbelievable. And I will tell you the the ferrari faithful yeah i've never had such a good time with a fan base ever it was so much fun everybody was so cool and they're just passionate fans right yeah uh then i went to miami in the beginning of the year that was fun but um it's not as passionate i would say as like being in italy flight? right yeah. um 
Kind of. I, I yeah. you know, I would say Vegas is the ultimate flex. There were oh, so I mean, many celebrities okay. and there were so many people there. Uh, every every you know YouTuber and influencer was there. It was crazy. Right. Um, but Miami was just it was the the weather was great. I got to right. see Norris win his first you know uh, his first ever race, yeah. and it was just a great race to be part of. Now yeah. I had seats in Miami, and I basically was staying still the whole time. Um, but it was you know in between the races and all that, there was a lot to right. see and do, and it was pretty cool. That's awesome. And then I went to Mexico City. Mexico City was incredible. The food was incredible. The atmosphere was incredible. No, and again, no. the fan base. So the fan base in Mexico City is Checo. It's not yeah. even Red Bull. It is just Sergio Perez. Right. So much so that when, you know, we were sitting there, people are chanting in the stands, Checo, Checo. Really? I mean, it's, it's un like yeah. deafening right yeah. deafening it was unbelievable and um it was just a really cool vibe now the only thing i will say and if you guys watched our our uh you know mexico city uh episode yeah uh, once i was in there i was stuck in there and i couldn't go anywhere else right so you, yeah. you're like in that horseshoe but everything happened there so it didn't really matter right but you know then we get to vegas and there's just so much to see and do this was the second year they did it so they kind of got the kinks figured out from the first year. Right. Um, and I mean, I had an amazing time, but I'll tell you, you know, so practice one and two was on Thursday and we learned really quick that Red Bull brought the wrong setup to that racetrack. <laughs> And... They were saying so. A lot of people were saying uh, Red Bull didn't bring the right wing and all this stuff. And supposedly, Christian Horner put out a statement that was like, uh, "We didn't forget the wrong wing. We didn't bring the wrong wing. Uh, we didn't forget a wing." Like, you know what I mean? Like, and but then they were like shaving the wing down. <laughs> and it's oh like, no, they didn't. They didn't so... shave it down. They cut it down with like a saw, right? <laughs> And if you look at the wing before that happened, yeah. And apparently, there's a bunch of pictures on Instagram. I didn't see any of them. Um, I right. saw somebody was somebody was telling me about it. And then, of course, you know, Crofty and all them were talking about it during pre practice three. They were. But yeah. If you look at the wing before, you know, pre practice three, and then you look yeah. at the wing after free practice three, it's got these two huge scallops out of it. Yeah. They That's hack the crap out of that wing. It's, but I mean, yeah. I, I mean, Verstappen we'll say it's and, sketch, to say the least. <laughs> it was, yeah. But Verstappen and Perez were in the back of like 17th and 18th they or looked something. Horrible all through free practice. Qualifying didn't even look great for them. Like it was. Oh, just they couldn't even. Good. They couldn't even get downforce to stop the car. Yeah. I mean, you know, I I was sitting at one place and they just I, Verstappen flew right by me into the <laughs> runoff area and and did like the burnout spin out, you know, spin around. Yeah. Um. But I mean, they look, they look terrible. They yeah. just looked, they looked like they didn't have their act together, you know? Yeah. But coming into this race, it was kind of a no brainer. I don't think that they have a shot to win the constructors championship. Right. But they do have a shot for Verstappen to win the race. And all he had to do yeah. was stay in front of Norris. Right. Well, at so, least win the championship. But the yeah, race sorry, sorry win, win the championship. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. so we get to the, we get to first practice and second practice and Mercedes oh, looks they, strong dude out of nowhere. Well, I'd say it now they've been building the last three races, but they, have, they but Mercedes look strong. This yeah. Weekend. Like they, and it was, and, and, and the thing is yeah. it wasn't a fluke, right? Yeah. Because they were fast in free practice one. Yeah. They were fast in free practice two. Yeah, they were fast in three in free practice three. It was not a fluke. No, uh, right? the other thing too, uh, you notice that their setup is literally whatever it is they're doing. They're like their car loves the cold, loves to be yeah. on a track that's not bumpy. And if yeah. those those are the things that are stopping it from doing well, they need to stay. At, this is a perfect <laughs> track for them. You know what I mean? Like smooth concrete, uh, their best friend. It, this track might not be bumpy, but I. I saw more, and maybe maybe because it's nighttime too. Right. I think that might have add an aspect to it. But I saw more sparks right. flying from the back of the cars than any of the races I've been to. Right.
right? right. Um, but yeah, so free practice one and two was on Thursday, right? I mean, did you see anything in free practice other than Red Bull looking like they were doing two miles an hour in the back of the pack? No, um, <laughs> not, nothing I can remember that I was like, oh my gosh, you know, we got to talk about yeah. this. I, I don't think there was anything other than, I mean, yeah, that's the biggest topic through all of free practice was Mercedes was doing really well and, and Ferrari Red Bull looked just, fast. Yeah, right? Ferrari looked good. Yeah, Ferrari yep. had a really good run going. Um, outside but, of that, but, it was uh, McLaren didn't normal. look good. Um, yeah. And uh, which Red McLaren looked, thought they were going to look a lot better than this. I, this I think they, I think we they were, thought we were so surprised too. by that. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, ever been, since yeah. McLaren had to change that rear wing, yeah. I feel like they've not been as fast as they were for those dominant races that Lando was running. You know? Yeah. It's, uh, it's affecting them. I, I think yeah. in a way. Um, so, so then we get into Friday, right? Uh, the only thing that happened on Friday was quality. Right. So, yeah. you, I mean, technically you had free practice three in the morning, right? right. Nothing exciting came out of free practice three. No, it's um, it's all the same story. Everybody Basically. still looked like yeah. they were struggling, you know? Yeah. Um, and then we get into quality, Ooh. right? And I mean, right out of the gate, Sergio's out. Yeah. You know? Sergio out um, Q one again. Again. Like, God almighty, man. Uh there was a percentage thing, and, and I'm gonna probably misquote this, but they said that in uh Sergio's time at Red Bull, more than 50% of the time he has been out Q1. And which is in, crazy. In Max Verstappen's time at Red Bull, he's been out six times in Q1. Uh and, and those were probably for like DNF issues. Yes. Right. Like did not start. So we're talking about DNF. his career versus, I mean, think about that's how long saying. Max has I'm been saying, there. That's it's not, it's not because Max didn't qualify well. It's probably because there's something wrong with the car. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's just um, unbelievable stat yeah. to think about, you know? And um, so then we get in, then we get into qualification. Right. Yeah. And, and we see him go out in, in Q1. Yeah. Q1 was not, the rest of the people were not a surprise you know no. um, um and then all of a sudden right oh we man. get into q2 yes. and q2 is looking at like it's ramping up pretty good and then Colapinto, he he it was cut a, that he cut that wall. driver air it i mean it 100%. was but the thing was if you if you watch that corner if you watch that corner everybody kind of slides the rear end just a little bit yeah and it looked like he just missed it by the smallest of margins yeah and the the barriers that they have up right because it's not a racetrack concrete straight track <laughs> yeah. there's no give to it so when yeah. he hit it it took off the left wheel yeah and the it left just rear sent him wheel, careening into the and then it side. took off the right front wheel he had three out of four wheels missing on that car and he yeah. and the, the shell of that thing just slid across the racetrack missile let me just say to all the people, all the men and women that were doing the corner work and the track work. Yeah. They clean that place up much faster than I expected. Not only did they clean it up faster, but they were really quick to react with the flags and, yep. and just to get everything set up. I was, I was kind of blown away by how quick it happened and how quick everything was done. Like it they read like so the session, quick. finished it, called it done. Yeah. I it happened so awesome. quick that, that the, the folks from, um, like the announcers didn't even catch it right away. Yeah. Yeah. At and, first it was, and, Oh, by the yeah. way, they didn't, they, uh, so I mean, it was like, it was like, all right, well, okay. So you red flag that, you yeah. know, yeah, and yeah. now we had a delayed start for, yeah. you know, for the, Q3. for, uh, Q3. Right. And so we get into Q3 and all of a sudden Russell yeah. takes the top step. Dude. Right. Yeah, and then, then, then you had a Ferrari, and another Ferrari, and you're like, all right, it's going to be you know Mercedes one two, and then you're going to have you know, uh, sorry, it's going to be Mercedes one, and then Ferrari two three rather. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, Gasly puts the Alpine, Alpine. yeah, up in three and splits the Ferraris. Dude. Where did that come from? I feel, I feel like he just hooked on his back and he's like, I'm going to drag this car up there. Dude, he was like, he's like, I did well in Brazil. I'm gonna yeah. do well here in yeah. Vegas. Like, come on, absolutely, man. I like, mean, talk about he, rolling the dice. I mean, yeah, he, just, he was not on my wild card this weekend either. No, really. and like, he just sent, yeah. And so, 
I think we were all blown away by that. You know, Max is in fifth. Yes. Um, uh, Norris is in six. And yes. you and I talked about this before the, before we started recording. Right. It's kind of strange because a lot of the people were in the exact same position that they qualified in. Yeah. That they ended the race in. Correct. Yeah, we were going through the list, you know, just trying to make the plan for yep. this this show. And uh, it was interesting to go through the list and, and put it together. And I was like, wow, a lot of people finished uh, pretty close to where they started, if not the same position. Yeah. Um, now, yeah, there was not a there lot was of change. a bunch of people that originally thought this was going to be a one stop race. Oh, absolutely. Which is, which is crazy. It was so cold. What was I feel like tire wear was right down. Yeah. But you know, when I started seeing people pit at five laps in, I'm like, it ain't a one stop, boys. <laughs> yeah. And one of those people is <laughs> Fernando Alonso. I literally, yeah. I'm not even kidding. I looked around. Uh, I was trying to get a soda and I got, I was waiting in line to get a soda. I got a soda and I went back and I looked up at the timesheet and I'm like, why is Fernando dead last like 30 seconds off the pace? Dude, I'm watching it and they, they show, I see him. Uh, they say, oh, Fernando Alonso is going in the pit. And yeah. then they don't pan the camera to him. I have no. no idea what's happening. And all of a sudden he's way down. And I'm like, that's his race. It's over with. Oh, I thought I thought I was saying, <laughs> come way. on. I was man. like, oh, this guy, you know, is, yeah. he's out for some sort of technical issue. Oh, you know? dude. Yeah. It had me fired up because I was like, I thought that's what I thought. I thought he had a technical issue and he was done. And then nope. he comes back out on the track and he's, but the, no, the video, he was the only guy. This. He was the F1. only guy on the track that went out on softs. Yes. But I will say this. F1, God, you got to work on your videography for us, please. You were killing me today. Uh, you were killing me. <laughs> I was trying my best to maintain my composure, and you were wrecking it for me. So if you're, was, if you're there, I was wrecking it for you. Work on it. The, the videography, man, like something would happen, and like they would be talking about, all right, so for instance, there was a fight with uh it really wasn't a fight it was like follow the leader with like a ferrari and uh i think oh, it was Verstappen. yeah with no it was it Verstappen wasn't even in it it was a ferrari and something else and they're just wa following them the whole time and talking about something else that happened well and for like, a while so for a me. while uh for was in front of um uh, leclerc i guess he passed him so he's in front of leclerc yeah. he's and in front Sine. of leclerc and and, then, and science and uh it was science and uh i'm gonna mess this up but i want to say it was maybe science and hamilton yep were, were fighting and then finally they panned to it and when science oh yeah it was when science when it decided to take him into the pit, the pit? right and then fake him out <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about that. So, yeah, like, uh, wow. Knights was calling to go in the pit for a while. He's like, yeah. my tires are dead. I need to come yeah. in the pits. So let's pit now. Let's go ahead and pit. And so, I don't know if they called him in or if he started to yes. go in on his own. He was trying to force the pit. But he, they... was, he was well committed to the pit. Yes. If you watch the replay of that, I mean, in fact, um, you know, Crofty was like, yeah, uh, he's definitely going to get a penalty for this. He's not the he only was... driver. That had this issue though. Um, another driver, one of the I think it was Albon, had a drive through because they weren't ready. I for saw him. that. Oh they my weren't god, ready for him. He pulled in and they weren't ready, and he just went ready. right back out the he other just way. Went right back yeah. through. And I'm like, dude, yep. that cost him at least let's say 15 seconds if you don't stop. At least, yeah. So that's 15 seconds off the race just because they weren't set and ready. I was and blown away that Yuki Sonoda didn't get an unsafe release. Absolutely. You see that nonsense? Absolutely, yeah. And, like and I'm right also on top surprised. Of him, and then he ran over yeah. the speed limit sign. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, did. I was he like, what, the car. What's happening? The car was airborne. You know? Yeah, and, yeah. And then ran over the speed limit sign. Uh, we can get to this later. But after the race, they were doing the post race interview, and he was cussing up a storm. And I was like, oh, oh boy, he's about to get okay. community service. You know what's funny is is I don't get to see that right and yeah. and uh, you know shame on me I should have the F one network by F one F one TV is where it's at dude yeah Join so us. so uh, yeah. uh, I don't get to see all the post race you know oh, it's discussions the best, or whatever man. but I will tell you the one thing about going to the races you get to see it I I got to see it on TV and you get yeah. to see like your little pocket wherever you're sitting but when I got to the airport today to fly home yeah. I watched the whole race because I was like, I, I didn't get to see like, cause for the longest yeah. time I couldn't figure out why Gasly went out. Oh yeah. 
uh, and, yeah, it blew a hole in the side of his car. Uh, he got on the radio and he's like, I have no power. And they're yeah, like, and we're, they're looking, like we're looking looks at everything. Great. It looks great. Everything yeah. looks great here. Everything looks he's fine. Like, I have no power. Yeah, literally. He's like, I have no power. <laughs> And they were like, no, no, it's fine. And then all of a sudden you yeah. start to hear this noise, this smoke comes out of the back of it. And he's like, he's like, guys, see the hole in the carbon fiber? I told you I had no power. I, yeah, I don't know if you see this, but uh, I have just completely sent pieces of my motor across the track. You oh know, my God, like, it was terrible. <laughs> but, you know, to his credit, he was right by, he was right by the pit when it happened. Yeah. So he just drove right in. Yeah, that was know? the other thing. Like, I was like, we're not going to get a yellow flag on this track. Like mm -hmm. when that happened and he made it in the pit, I was like, "We're not going to yellow flag." Yep. And we did. and then uh, um, Alex, yeah, right, Albon. Alex ended up retiring the car. Yes, uh, and, and, and they never they never came back and said why. So they so what was really funny was before the race there was tons of debris on the track, tons right. of trash, like like bags and and that's paper what they were saying. There was a lot of dust and and, stuff and I saw and a bunch of people like picking it up. Right, yeah. so the corner workers and stuff were picking it up. But if you if you were sitting where I where I was sitting, and you looked over the concrete wall, yeah, all on that side of it was trash. Wow. And it's like like any second now, it's gonna you know come over be here, right, right back right? on the side of the track. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, one of the announcers, and I don't remember which one it was, said they kept talking about how there's some trash on the track, and I don't know if you remember, but Russell picked up some of it and it got caught in his body. Oh. Work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was, was like, like on the side of yeah. the car, dragging it down, like dragging it down, uh, dragging it down. New fresh track. arrow, boys. Right, <laughs> right. And so, um, when Alex came in, they said that somebody immediately went and started looking at the intakes. Ah, so they think he sucked a bag in, suck, suck something in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I know at one point one of the cars actually blew through like a bag and it shredded it. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. So it could have been him. I don't remember which car it was. I'll have to go back and look. But yeah. But I mean, you know, one of the cool things about this track from last year was there was some decent overtaking. There was a lot of overtaking yeah. in this race. Right. Um, it's got a long straight, you know, yeah. and they're they're coming by at a pretty good clip. Yeah. I don't. I think we saw a little bit of you know, where people were trying to conserve the tires a little bit, but it's hard because there's so many long straights that if you're not, you know, in it, then yeah. somebody's going to be on your tail before you know it. Well, one of the things we can talk about with conserving tires is Leclerc was told to conserve his tires about the time that uh, 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 Carlos, Carlos Sainz decided he was going to pass him. And they were like, we told Sainz he could, that, that he, you're conserving tires and not to pass you, not to threaten you. And he says, tell him in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. I got to be honest with you. He's got, Sainz has got nothing to lose. He's an yeah. amazing driver. I, yeah. You know, not, not to disparage Williams name, but they just don't have the car that Ferrari he, has. Honestly, I hope and he, he's going to be, something changes. They bring Calipinto to Williams and they put, Sergio Perez at Red Bull. That would be, and I'm not Ser, Sergio Perez. Uh, they put Carlos Sainz at Red Bull. Yeah, that would be amazing. That would be the. I mean, it would be thing. it would be fan. Uh, you know, it would be fantastic. But I, you know, right now he's committed to Williams, and yeah. and I and I just don't think they have the car, you know, to really help him become a national champion. And I think I, if you watch what he's been doing this year, he was the only person to break Max's record last year. Yep. You know his winning streak, right? Yeah. And then this year, he's just he's just shown true form. I mean, absolutely. He had his appendix taken out and came back and won the race. You know, yeah. I mean, the guy is just on another level, and and it's it's sad to see him go away. Um, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, Hamilton and Red next year, and yeah. I was listening to some of the announcers, and they were saying that they've given him access to the house in Marinello, and they've given oh. him everything. So he's yeah. basically they're making sure that he starts it off on the right foot, right. which you got to think is kind of weird for <clears throat> for Leclerc because yeah. he was supposed to be the number one, and yeah. now you're bringing in seven a seven-time time world, world champion. champion. Yeah, unreal. You know. Yeah. So I don't know. I, 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 and it's tough because I heard somebody over the weekend say, well, they should have got rid of Leclerc and kept uh, Carlos, but Leclerc's a great driver too. I Absolutely. Mean, you can't, it's not like Leclerc's bringing up the rear, you know? Yeah. Um, 
but I mean, all in all, it was a phenomenal race, you know, and then we get down to the, to the results. We've got, uh, you know, George winning his third ever Grand Prix, yep. which is really weird because I felt like he's won more than that. Yeah, yeah. But, well, I mean, <laughs> he he came so close when he drove the Mercedes for for Hamilton. Yeah, uh, the one time, or was it yep. George? Uh, but yeah, uh, came really close at that point to win, but he had an engine failure, and then um, you know just stuff like that. But I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess George there's a couple like, times yeah. in the in the past couple of years where he's he's been like number two. You yeah. know, or really, but really I, close. For some reason, yeah. I I just felt like he was number one. But anyway, yeah. So he wins his third ever title. Yeah. He or third ever third ever race. Right. Um, and he was so excited. He was yeah. so pumped. But he dominated um, this weekend. He did. I mean, he did a, he did a phenomenal job. He great in he free was, practice, great in qualifying, great exactly. As Good job. Top man. of the time sheets. Deserve. Um, Absolutely. you know, he he uh, was great in you know great in in the uh, qualifying, and then he yeah. turned it into a win. Absolutely. Um, and you know, led by a good margin most of the race. Yep. I mean, but I mean the, by ten seconds at some. The point. story of the day has to be Hamilton. I mean, he Absolutely. had a drive. He had a recovery drive like none other. You know, yes. he came back from you know mid pack. Right. Made it all the way up to second. You know, yeah. and there was a moment where he was chasing, you know, Russell, and oh, they were absolutely. like, they're like, if you know, if Russell doesn't put his foot down. <laughs> you know hamilton's gonna get him and they yeah. said they said uh that there was nothing um on uh team orders or anything that was preventing right. them from 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 actually racing racing yeah yeah uh, another um, another one that had a real good recovery drive would have been Calapinto. uh to come from zero he was starting in the pit lane and uh he came out what was 16th. it uh 14th 14th 14th. 14th that's yeah. pretty good in it, well it was kind of funny because he yeah. qualified 14th right? right but then he but then he was back at the pit lane and Correct. then he came back from the pit lane and and ended up in 14th so that's kind of so, weird yeah but i mean that's so if you look at the, if you look at the numbers you know if you look at where he qualified you're like well he didn't do great but he, he did didn't do actually, well at all <laughs> he actually did pretty well yeah um yeah i mean it was just it was it wasn't a very like nail biting race yeah. it was not it was a, like last weekend no, no. Um, yeah, it was a great, it was a great race. race. Yeah. It was, it was really awesome to watch. Um, I will say I kind of hated that Max won the championship. I, I yeah. like that he won it in Vegas. That was kind of cool. Right. Obviously, but I hate, uh, I didn't I, hate that. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I hate that he won the championship and didn't win the race. And the reason why yeah. is because George was so happy to win yeah. the race. And like, I don't know if you heard the radio message, but Toto's like, he's like, oh, I can't wait to celebrate with Los Angeles. He's like, he's yeah. like, Toto, he's I'm, like, I'm not getting here. on that plane. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not getting yeah. on that plane. I yeah, thought you like, weren't yeah. coming home yet. Uh, we talked to you earlier today and you said, uh, you said, hey, man, I, I'm, I think I'm going to stay another day. And I was like, dude, you should. And then I, I thought you, about you it, honestly, but like, we're going to video tonight. I was like, all right, man, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah. I thought about coming home, uh, like a day or two later. Cause I, I mean, it's, it's a slow week, you know, yeah. with it being Thanksgiving. Right. Um, but, uh, we had to get this to our viewers. We did have to get this to our Absolutely. viewers, which I probably could have, I probably could have recorded this from the hotel room. Um, <laughs> but, uh, to be fair, there was a large box on my doorstep that has something in it for my new daily that will be going up on our channel very soon. So nice. nice. <laughs> I had very to come cool. home because today is nice. Tomorrow's going to be good weather. And then uh, Tuesday is going to be going to rain. Yeah. And so I was like, all right, well, if I come home on Monday, I'm not going to be able to put it on the car on Tuesday. So I came yeah. home. This, this is kind of car guy and people because yeah. there's no more car events happening. Cool in Vegas, dedicated. And I came home to do car stuff. Well, um, you know, but not to mention, We'll have some my shorts and some stuff we had, I did too. So it'll be great. Man. We will. It's gonna be awesome. But yeah. but I here's the thing. I'm bummed out for George because he was so pumped to win it. And really, as soon as he crossed the finish line, right? There was like a maybe a second or two, and then the sphere lit up and it had uh Max Verstappen as the as the champ as the world champion. Well, I, I don't feel like they did him a disservice though, because they, they still did his radio message. They still did all the stuff. He wasn't on the podium. 
Um, Correct. You know, he was in the interviews and stuff like he that. Was he wasn't the on the podium. And then he did his after race interviews. I yep. felt like they did, they handled it well. Uh, because I don't you're going to have that. I'm not saying race. that that F1 didn't handle it well. I yeah. completely agree with you. I think F1 handled it well. I just yeah. think that that event for that that event overshadowed his accomplishment his, for yeah. the day. Uh, I, I, agree I think if yeah. I think if Max had won, then it would have been like, oh, you won and you're the world champion. Yeah. But it was like he's like, oh, you finished fifth. And you're the world champion. But I know? remember the year that, that all the year that that Hamilton um, <laughs> Hamilton won the year before. Hey, he only had to be, had to be like thirteenth or something. Yeah, it like was like had, it was early in the season, or like or when he like won, was, and and they were like, "You're a seven time world champion," yeah. and it was like they completely forgot about who won the race. That time. yeah, I'm, I'm um, glad so that I feel they like didn't, it was handled well. It was handled great. It was it yeah. was it was handled great. I just I just honestly feel like it was one of those things where. You know, you almost feel yeah. like you almost feel like you came in second, right? I also, I also like it when you get down to that last race. I mean, that that one year in twenty one, I think, was yeah, twenty one. Oh, can't beat that, dude. That was that was probably the best. Listen, because not only did you win the race, but it was the like last race of the season. There's a lot of people out there that still aren't over discounting. Yeah, 21. I know it. I know it, and, man. I see it in the comments. Well, no, I'm not saying discounting. I'm saying yeah. on both sides of the fence, whether yeah. you're a Team LH or you're a Team Max, right. there's a lot of people out there that, that are still not over how that happened. Yeah. And I will tell you, F1 TV does everything they can to remind us of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and one of the commentators w said, you know, something about the drama from how 21 ended. And he said, he said, is anybody out there still unhappy about how that ended? And I'm like, let's it's, move on, people. Move it, along. It's, it's, it's this, in the this, past. This, yeah. And it, it, well, like instantly, <laughs> like um, I shared the the, you know, the Max Verstappen four time world champion, you know, and all that stuff. And uh, and somebody commented instantly and was just like, "This is a third time world champion." And I'm like, "Dude, get out of here! <laughs> like, you know, whatever, man. Like, just move along." Like, Listen, I didn't mean to post it that yeah. quickly. I was waiting. Yeah. I was trying to wait for some other stuff to happen before yeah. I said he was only a three time world champion. So, <laughs> yeah, my come bad. on, man. <laughs> Anyways, um, but, but yeah. no, I uh, all in all, unbelievable race. If you guys haven't been to Vegas F1. Add it to your bucket list, man. It, it is, it is yeah. absolutely incredible. I mean, Vegas by itself is just a lot of fun. Um, I will say, though, that when the race was over, the town goes dead. Goes. Like, a bunch of people go in the clubs and stuff. Right. But, like, everything closes. You would oh, think yeah. that you would think that It'd on be an after least, party. Yeah. Well, you would think that at least on Friday and Saturday that, like, Starbucks would stay open until, like, 2 a.m., yeah. right? Or, or in and out would stay open to, like, three o'clock yeah. right you yeah. know you'd think that some of these places would stay open later knowing that people are leaving the race at one o'clock in the morning and you know no but um <laughs> but i mean wow. all in all it was it was freaking awesome and know, and man. it was a great race it was a it was great to see mercedes kind of be up there again you know i cool. i miss them being being in the front here and there Absolutely. so i will tell you uh you know i've only been really following f1 for about four years yeah and well, five years and this is so far has been my favorite season yeah because there was so many different winners it was any any weekend anything could happen you could have an alpine uh two three right you know it was just it was just great i really yeah. liked it and and <clears throat> i say that knowing that there's still two more races this this year yeah you know, well, we still got two races. We're going to talk about those as well, man. So, yeah. I mean, it's going to be, I, we still got to find out who's going to come in second in the constructors. And we need to find out who's going to come who's first coming in, in the first in the constructors. Yeah. I'm sorry. Second in the uh, world championship uh, contender against Mac. Yeah. So I think there's, I, so we got plenty of racing left. So I'm excited. Not to enough. See it. Not enough. Not enough. Uh, no, no. I'm already. I'm already getting a uh, post race depression <laughs> PRD. If you will. I, I will tell you, I'm already planning. I'm going to do, I, I yeah, decided man. on my way home from Vegas. I'm going to do two races next year. Yeah. I don't know which ones they are going to be, but I'm going to do two. So we'll see. Well, hopefully this time in the future, I'll come with you. <laughs> I think I'm going to do Silverstone and Monaco. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Hopefully <laughs> in the future, I can afford to come with you. <laughs> I think those are the two I'm going to do because they're big on my bucket list. Well, I'll be reporting so, live from Miami. 
Yeah. So we'll talk about this later um, in another episode because I want to I don't want to I don't want to tag him here on to the end. Um, yeah. But uh, a quick shout out and thank you to the folks over uh, at F1 Authentics. They're absolutely incredible. Um, you know, yeah. the the things I was able to do this weekend would not have been possible if they weren't for those guys. Um, we're actually going to have some of them on the channel so that you guys can understand more about what they do. Uh, they actually sell race used parts and equipment. Yeah. They sell signed memorabilia. They yeah. sell um, all kinds of really cool stuff. I don't want to take the thunder out of it. And um, but one of the things that they do, and it's very, it's, it's reasonably priced. Um, but every race and you can't see it on camera, but every race, when they wave the flag, that flag, every single square has somebody's name on it. Okay. And so at the end of the race, they cut that square out and they frame it and they send it to you. So, cool. so right now they're taking reservations for Silverstone. So okay. you can put your name, my name, and you can put Our two name. car guys podcast car guys right underneath it. Yeah. Right. Which is what I'm doing. Nice. <laughs> and then they'll wave it. It's, it's the flag. They actually wave at the end of the race. That's super cool. And then it becomes like race use memorabilia. It's pretty that's cool, cool, man. I'm, yeah, I'm very excited pretty. about that. I like that. So yeah, so um, so we'll do a whole episode with them because uh, they do some really, really, really incredible stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And then uh, I think there's some other stuff we should probably talk about, too, because I may or may not have met Lando's dad. Nice. And he's starting a company or he has already started a company um, called Pure Electric, I think okay. it is. And they do electric scooters and they have a... a you know, contract with um, McLaren and they right. do like McLaren livery scooters. It's awesome. like the F1 Authentics one because I'm looking at it right now. Mm -hmm. It's Pure actually on, on McLaren yep. e scooter. Yeah. The it, it's on ML's their website. MCL 38. That's the one. Special edition. Very cool. I will say, uh, check out their website, uh, f one authenticscom They're not sponsoring us. Uh, we just, the guys are cool. <laughs> they're yeah. super neat over there. So they're doing really great things and they're really, you know, uh, I mean, they, they hooked you up at, at the race. So, I mean, thanks, guys. We appreciate that. Uh, we Big couldn't time. have got some of the footage we got while we were there. I, I say while we were that. there. Well, yeah. he was there. <laughs> but, no, hey, I wish I could have been there, guys. I wish I could have met you, Victor. That would have been super cool. Shout out to Victor, man. Great well, guy. Well, it'll, it'll happen um, soon. So, absolutely. again, if you haven't done it already, please like, share, and subscribe. We are so close to being at 500. Again, thank Push you for button. everyone who has subscribed to this point. Yes. Uh, we we can't even describe to you how much we appreciate the support. Um, our goal, our goal right now is 500 by the end of the year. That's if right. we can do that, that, that would be epic for us. Uh, we're super I will, excited to keep this I will this tell people going. there is a, body, a bottle of Ferrari champagne sitting on my shelf. And when we hit 500, we are going to open it. So Yes. <laughs> It's going to be awesome. awesome. Yeah. So, so everybody, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for spending time with us. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and yes. come back for more. See you on the next one. Peace. Bye.